Hello, my name is Jiří Přibán and uh, I'm director of the Center of Law and Society here uh, at Cardiff University. And uh, like everybody else around the world, we are under lockdown currently and uh, uh, the center decided uh, that uh, uh, we could at least share uh, some of our experiences, some of our ideas. Um, so one series um, is about uh, uh, the meaning of lockdown. What does it mean for us as uh, researchers in uh, uh, sociology of law, socio-legal studies or social theory of law? For me, personally, uh, it is a fascinating uh, situation because uh, I've been working in uh, uh, the uh, realm of constitutional imaginaries, uh, sociology of constitutionalism. So lockdown comes very close to the classic constitutionalist and political notions of uh, the state of exception and exceptional powers. And uh, we are asking uh, what it actually means in a specific situation like the global pandemic. I think uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, successfully uh, debunked uh, theories of uh, Homo Sacer and the world as one giant concentration camp uh, uh, of Giorgio Agamben and other uh, fashionable uh, political philosophers of the dark apocalypse of humankind. Instead, uh, what we witness is uh, how different governments uh, choose different options and uh, react in many different ways uh, uh, to um, uh, the threat coming from our social environment, uh, from the nature. Uh, and so you have a very um, restrained uh, uh, response uh, in Sweden where the whole um, uh, policy is governed uh, by the chief uh, hygienists of the country and uh, you have the extreme measures uh, taken by uh, Viktor Orban in Hungary who basically staged a coup against uh, his own parliament where he enjoyed constitutional majority because he didn't want to be uh, further uh, bothered by parliamentary procedures. Uh, one, uh, so uh, what we experience uh, actually is not uh, uh, one uh, giant uh, state of exception shared globally. Uh, instead we have uh, a diversity of constitutional and political uh, cultures responding in uh, uh, many different ways. However, one overarching theme is interesting for me as a sociologist of uh, constitutions and it is the difference between uh, public opinion, the doxa, and expert knowledge, the episteme. And uh, as we know, sociologists all uh, know that uh, uh, this difference between what is just uh, opinion and what is uh, uh, soft opinion and what is hard knowledge is blurred in politics. In the last 10 years, uh, we experienced the rise of populism, which is a response of uh, the public uh, uh, distrusting expert knowledge, expertise of economists uh, uh, suggesting that uh, everything is fine when actually the financial uh, system was heading for its biggest crisis and uh, uh, other examples of expertise going awfully wrong. Um, the state uh, of exception related to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, is uh, interesting because politicians completely rely in their responses on expert scientific uh, knowledge. But we know that uh, uh, if uh, politics 
evolves in the public sphere of mere doxa, mere opinion, um, has to be somehow mitigated by expertise, by the episteme. Every politician uh, has to avoid two traps. If he, she relies too much on uh, um, public opinion, such politician will be um, described as an ignorant populist. If politicians, on the other hand, rely too much on expert knowledge of technocrats, they will be accused of arrogant elitists. And uh, the pandemic uh, teaches us that uh, this is more complicated, that actually expert knowledge doesn't speak in one voice, that you have many different approaches, many different views, and uh, a lot of contingency, a lot of unknown um, unknowns uh, in what we know. Uh, so uh, politicians um, uh, have to rely on uh, expertise guidances, yet in the end it is up to them to choose which um, expertise to choose and follow. So this is a paradox uh, of uh, modern politics, uh, of uh, modern society, that uh, um, experts, scientists, have to enter the realm of politics and uh, persuade politicians about the correctness of their findings and the correctness of their policy advice. However, we should relish this paradox and uh, this uh, uh, lack of certainty because the only alternative is an authoritarian decision in which politicians decide what scientists can and cannot say. Uh, this is the situation in China where uh, all findings regarding the origin of uh, uh, the virus uh, are subject of uh, uh, political censorship and uh, um, therefore uh, we are experiencing once again the benefits of open society against uh, risks and failures of uh, closed authoritarian societies whether in uh, uh, China or Hungary or anywhere else in the world. So this is my own reflection of uh, the current state uh, uh, of emergency and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing and uh, um, uh, watching uh, ideas and experiences of uh, uh, my colleagues and friends uh, um, here online.